San Francisco Bay, home of the rock, Alcatraz. Where an international All right, so we are watching Rock the Rock, an MTV special where kids go to a prison and play Sonic and Knuckles. Wait, what? Sorry, sorry. They go to a what? <laughs> a prison. Okay, as a person from Canada land, this looks like a pretty big deal prison. Is it, is it a... Yes. Oh, this is Alcatraz? It's famous for being like a whole huge prison on an island for the biggest criminals, aka people who like Sonic the Hedgehog too much. Okay, so this is like where the Sinister Six goes. Oh yeah, absolutely. And also children who like to play mm -hmm. Sonic. <laughs> you, you see, uh, Liam, you millennial kids don't know, back when in the old days, if you liked bad video games, you got to go to prison. Oh shit. Yeah, it was really hard being a gamer growing up in the U.S. world's greatest video game player, featuring Sonic and Knuckles, a new game from Sega Genesis! Oh man. So immediately everyone's attire and tastes are going to be really dated by this point. All right, here they come, Bill. 25 people from as far as Tokyo and Brazil. So how are these people picked? I don't know. Is it, was it... Is it like Battle Royale? Or? It actually was you had to rob a bank while wearing a Sonic shirt, and then they're like, all right, you're good. You had to commit yeah. a crime. It turns out, fastest bank They wouldn't let children into the prison until they committed a real crime, so like blood in, blood out, basically, but you know, for Sonic. Yeah. yeah. No, for sure. Those briefcases are tied to their wrists if they try to take them off while it's blood. Oh, good. That'll keep them honest. That kid's wearing a Japan headband. Yeah, I see him. I hope he's actually Japanese. Well, they said they're actually worldwide. Yeah. Oh man, these guards faking it up. Doggo vision. Okay, now before we start the tournament, let's just see how these 25 people ended up in prison blues. And while you're watching this, we're gonna make our way over to the island. These prison guards moving fake money bags are like, wow, I really don't get paid enough for this. California, known for prisons and Sonic the Hedgehog. They have a cheesecake factory too, right? The that's world. like, oh yeah, New that's York, notable. Japan, Brazil, San Francisco. Oh, there was an Ottawa, Canada. Yeah, you could have been in this if you were born Sonic at the time, William. <laughs> yeah. Here's a list of our favorite places and our most unreadable font. <laughs> <laughs> Flickering back and forth, pink and white, over a random yeah. background. Enjoy. <laughs> Keep your cool and keep moving. Uh, make sure nothing hits you, and uh, just be careful. Stay on my toes, play it safe. God, imagine uh, if cool speed running was a thing at this yeah, point. Yeah. <laughs> just how bad all these kids would be blown out and just like have like, oh, yeah. Imagine being like the seven-year-old kid going to this and being like, I love Sonic, and then some like 32-year-old just <laughs> that kid's throwing like, down prayers 12 for seconds. <laughs> His advice was like as good as shoot the super demon until it dies. Like, <laughs> don't get hit, play cool. Oh man. <laughs> so, wait, did they actually do this at like TGS or something? Probably. <laughs> Imagine that <laughs> that's shown on your, um, your, uh, your criminal record later on. Yeah, I, mean, I did time yeah. for Sonic and Knuckles. I actually <laughs> had to get a criminal record to rock, <laughs> participate. Okay, what, what game would you go to prison for? Because <laughs> I would have done it for Nier Automata when that was coming out, but... Alright, there's no turning back for us now. You see, we're on a boat headed towards Alcatraz. The security's tight, but let's check out the contestants that'll be competing today. What are you doing your spirit? So I actually got a chance to go to Alcatraz when I was like 10. Um, we were down in um, California for a trip. Yeah, and uh, what were you in for? <laughs> so what would you do if like you in Mario, I guess. Uh, by the pickup truck. <laughs> First thing I would buy would probably Backwards be Cap, yeah, he's so cool. How did you go about winning in your country? Okay, good, he's actually Japanese. Yeah, there you go. Wow. That's the best take we got. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> You don't. Do you think chicks will dig you a little bit more if you go back home with twenty-five thousand dollars? Hope so. So what's the coolest? Ugh, I don't want to be MTV here. I miss my mom. The coolest thing about being on MTV is right now being next to you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Smooth talker. We're almost at the rock to witness the premiere of a secret, brand new video game from Sega Genesis called. Turns Sonic out being on a boat kind of sucks ass. Actually, it's really oh, tiny and boring as shit. My breath tastes right, like salt right now. 
wild red dreadlocks and keep them. I love that art of <laughs> He's so pot bellied. <laughs> all, all the old in their art of them is fantastic. Yes, it is, Bill, and I had I, I, I have this theory that they Actually, never an had a reference Australia, image for Knuckles, like ever. If you ever watched Sonic Underground, Knuckles was like, yeah, right about the episode where they ran out of funding, and he just takes random shapes and sizes at all the time. Yeah, it's I've seen a bunch of gifts of it. It's fantastic. Good. What's the password? Knuckles. Wait, what? The password? Yep, now is you know knuckles? the password again to Sig Institute. <laughs> oh, sick! I can still use that. Dude, here's some math. You kids like math, right? STI is a special place in Sega where some of the very best, talented, uh, most. So there's a kid that looks like Chris Chan on the right in a second. Come together to he has a really a colorful sweater. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. That's him. That he was there from the start. Have Man, some fun in this I don't miss this era of like, yo, the camera can never stop moving. moving. Oh, that's just a California earthquake. Game designer basically comes up with the concept and attempts to execute it. Game designer's responsibility mainly is to make it a good game. Well, we had this game called uh, Lawn Jockey. You basically uh, rode around on a lawnmower and you were competing against other people. I'm glad they had stock footage people. for this. It was one of those wacky games that, you know, it was kind of like you told the people and they were just like, uh, yeah, right, sure. So we've got um, Knuckles coming up the uh, slope. So good story of, about the mowing space. lawns. So we've got <laughs> the video game. Down. Uh, Can't imagine why that concept got a... This guy's running out equations for Knuckles. <laughs> he stopped. If Knuckles sure stops thrusting. The trick is, Knuckles never stops thrusting. That way, I'm free to go Here's my variable for Knuckles. It, I just drew him. I hope yeah, that's, that's cool. He's chuckling. <laughs> I do all the games here uh, for Sega Technical Institute. Play One Winged Angel. <laughs> play, uh, the play Spinball's <laughs> menu music. And, uh, basically, uh, just uh, score it. He probably composed it. Miss Pac Man. Actually, yeah. Game. I think you, know, you remember that. Compose thing, is like a super time. strong word for the Sonic Spinball you Options really menu music. It's really more like. And if fucked you come up. up with a <laughs> just in general. Usually contributes to that character. My favorite characteristic to draw on a character is. Probably Very fitting music. Don't push me to the edgehog. To me, at least, most of their personality. We're testers here at Sega, and we are in charge of getting games in and testing them, getting all the bugs out of them. The most common injury is Sega thumb, where your skin just <laughs> peels right off of your no, thumb. Oh, underneath the nail, this. your skin is all coming <laughs> off, and it's all a big blister. I'm glad I never had I'm to really do QA for consoles that, that were that primarily just mm. bad, because, yeah. Someone mm. gets paid for that. A game needs three things. It's got to have astounding looks, it's got to have great animation, and it must have an atmosphere that pulls the player straight into the game. If a player tells me that he's been playing one of our games and lost four hours and didn't know where the time went, then I think we've done I our think job he has problem. amnesia and he needs help. But we've done good. Our 25 I think Knuckles has collected one more That's soul for the soul jar. Be Eventually, be we'll be able to make a real chaos emerald, and then video games mm -hmm. will be life. So you stick around, because we have no choice. Uh, okay, you two, off the boat. Move it. The magic word. Hello, I am also prison. How's it going? <laughs> Dog bark dot wav. <laughs> The tension is building on the way to the cell block where our players are getting their last whiff of fresh air before lockup. That's right. These players are following. I don't think he could convince me to enter this silly clown contest. I think we could. I think we could. There would have to be a really, really good game, Liam. If you could go back and enter it, you would have done it. Oh, this is really good. It's a good highlight clip. Jeff Joystick. Oh, Jeff Joystick God. Falco. <laughs> okay, that's a good name. <laughs> Can you Lost and Finder. I feel like they only covered like I'm telling a you, third to a quarter of the staff. Right here. This place would never have a video game. Uh -huh. People wouldn't be playing. Prison life is not fun. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. And they only shower twice a week. Now that's funky, Daisy. That is pretty funky, Woo. though. The players Remember, uh, kids, don't go to prison. Can't play video games. Just, just try not to. That's a real weak point. the code of Sonic and Knuckles. And you know, rumor has it that there's a snitch in the ranks. So what? security <laughs> is that kid, maximum. especially. And around here, no doubt about it, you always got to watch your back. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So there's a snitch in the ranks, so the security... Security's at maximum? I think that's a really backwards message there. <laughs> this is some 999 Dick and Ronpa shit here. You have to decide, figure out who's the snitch. Yeah, wait, wouldn't, it's a, like, wouldn't the guards snitch be really good into for that? Guards? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is like... Prisoners will remain separated. No 
conferring. Disobey the rules. You'll go to the hall. Okay, yeah, imagine cover. You do not want imagine if this there. actually turns into like solitary oh, though, where they just like keep practice. him up. They're just like screaming noises, flashing lights at him for like three days, and then they're like, "All right, now, now, Ray, Sonic and Knuckles, good luck." Yeah. So what, I, I, I don't quite know what their goal is yet. Play Sonic. Play Sonic till you die. While the players are perfecting their game, we're gonna go and explore the rest. Oh, is this training? You know, this is not too different from QA testing nowadays. No, not really. The wages are probably a lot better, but. Uh, this is not a, a prison of uh, rehabilitation. Uh, this is a prison of punishment. Hey guys, I'm here with Leon Whitey Thompson, who was a prisoner here at Alcatraz. He's that was the best picture we got of him. Rock hard. Look at his so fucking happy. shirt. Right Look now. at his shirt. Oh yeah. Right now, Holy shit! Down, it's like uh, a wolf. It's like a one wolf down. moon. <laughs> Classic. This here is D Block, okay. and this is my cell in D Block, in okay. which I spent four years in this cell. I miss it so much. I wonder if they had a whole bunch of guys and some of them were like, fuck, no, I don't want to go back. You want to bring that shit up again? Yeah. No, I agree. What was the process here? Granted, he wrote a book on it, so I guess it was kind of... But we didn't have no commissary here. We, we never had no uh, magazines, newspapers, or anything. We didn't have nothing here. That is one handsome dude there, Leon Whitey Thompson. You know that guy? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's pretty smooth. They look a nice chiseled chin. I like that guy. That's the most handsome. Is this mean fuck prison now? Kiss yes, already, you know? yeah. <laughs> Whitey, what's the deal with these two cells right here? Well, this is uh, where Frank Morris and the England brothers uh, broke out of these cells in, in 1962. Being that you were here and they came out with a movie, uh, Escape from Alcatraz, do you think that was close? To what really happened, or do you think they? What, what do you think? <laughs> no, that was, yes, uh, just uh, like it. No, you fucking hide. maroon. <laughs> I don't know what to talk night. to you about. Um, no. I guess I want to move on up, Trez, once. On a weekend, for sure. Let me tell you about the Sean Connery documentary, <laughs> The Rock. How did you feel about it, man? Actually, in this prison. <laughs> uh, what kind of things did you guys do out here for recreation? Well, we played ball over there. And over there, we played Sonic <laughs> and Knuckles. We didn't have blast processing though, so it ran like shit. <laughs> Our contestants are nearing the final seconds of practice, so let's see how they're doing. Hello, Dad. I'm in jail. Hi, Dad. Happy birthday. As you can see, they're all still stuck in Mushroom Hill. I'm in jail. So we got a long way to go. Like yeah. The, the B-roll really didn't, well, they didn't the go too far. Have done their time in the slammer, and they we only have access to, to Mushroom Hill? Like, is this not the full game? Genesis, <laughs> or did they just give up recording? I like that kid wearing right shorts. Bill on the it turns out all the kids were chosen by lottery, and they're all actually <laughs> super bad at Sonic. Thanks they're just lot, <laughs> horrendous garbage. Okay, twirler twir twir billy clubs over and over. That's all we can do right now. This has a lot of history. Yeah. Al Capone it's like a video in arcade top ten. Yeah, that's true. But up until now, this has been uh -huh. a restricted area. No and right now, it is. Oh, you mean you didn't like Nicholas Pickles asking children to stick their hands in the in the prize <laughs> pail? I the don't even <laughs> fucking know if that's his real name. I, you know what? I do know, but I'm not gonna spoil the fun for you. That, that's good. <laughs> this is the kind of thing I only want to know on my deathbed. Please, children, come reach into the trash can full of prizes. Uncle Nicholas won't give you a shove, don't worry. Yeah, you've won, you've won a meal at medieval times. <laughs> <laughs> you won a Depeche Mode CD was my favorite that I saw. <laughs> Just like some, some 15-year-old, no, it was like a 10-year-old, like, here's Depeche Mode, enjoy. Yeah, there was some really off yeah, shit in there that's just like, really? Yes, You're just, yes, kids yes, won't like that. Ah, oh, whatever. Still feeling lucky? Yeah. Oh, high five for luck. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? She only got... Okay, so it's rings they're counting by? So this is like Nick Arcade it. levels of scoring. Oh, well, you try. Yeah, yeah. So is it really just play Mushroom Hill and get as many rings as possible? That seems to be the case. Gotta go slow. I'm telling you, this man built the machine. MTV has access to a lot of songs, turns out. How do you say Sonic and Knuckles in Brazilian? Sonic and Knuckles. Dude, sir, sir, you gotta step back, all right? Step back, all right? This this non sequential 
ranking yeah. system is I'm glad I care up. a lot about these kids like Steve Hughes. Who are you looking for here? Man from Boston. There's like no you gameplay know? footage either. We're not getting anything from this. They could have just all randomly generated these numbers for all we care. It's fucking true, right? One ring. Wow, Jennifer, really slipped the ball there. I hope you enjoyed your trip. <laughs> How many rings are there in this level anyhow? Yeah, there you go. Cool. Thanks. No dang, 200. 274? Holy fuck. That's a lot. Better hope someone got the bubble shield. That will help you out. Are there that many rings in the stage? <laughs> well, I don't even know how much they're playing. Are they playing more than one act or what they're doing? Yeah, I have no we idea. We have no reference level except they're just in prison. Because your rings don't reset. Right? Like they carry over. No, it counts down your ring bonus. I'm pretty sure. Cause okay, yeah, they do, yeah, so they do reset, right? Yeah, 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 because otherwise you could just do a supersonic rush and just, you know, never, never de super. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Sonic 2 is the one I played the least. So I'm not, not up enough. Are there even that many rings in the stage? Do you think they, like, did the whole stage and then started over and did it again? Is that it? I imagine they're looking for, like, a single count, which is why some people ended up with, like, one, because they took a hit and stuff like that. Yeah. selection in B footage is so confusing in this. Right, Woo, prison! Fun fuck fun yeah! Fun. Oh boy, now we're in the arcade atrium. <laughs> Welcome to the challenge gazebo. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> It locks on with your what? other games. And Bill is with some of his friends right now to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Thanks a lot, Daisy. I know you guys know what's going on, but you can play not only Knuckles on his own, but you can Okay, losers, now you're going to have to show off how this technology works. For instance, you can lock on Sonic 3 right here, like so, and you got a brand new 34 meg game. New characters and multiple surprise engines. Put Knuckles on Knuckles, and you get Knuckles and Knuckles. <laughs> You can play as Knuckles, it transforms to Zixi. Was it only those two games that I worked with? I think so, yeah. It's a revolutionary yeah. lock-on technology. <laughs> that shit, that shit's it. still the amazing. Yeah, yeah, I admit it's kind of cool, but <laughs> it only limited to two things. That was kind of the problem with a lot of the gimmick stuff at that point, was like they'd push this gimmick out and then no one wanted to actually do anything with it. Like the yeah, I, I would have loved to see someone else like execute on it, on it with like raw shit. But like you can't even do that nowadays because of how games are split. You can't fucking stack the physically. Like it has to be DLC and that's like a whole submission process and shit. So. One day the Nintendo Switch will have a cartridge that accepts a tinier cartridge. <laughs> I sincerely Oh so. my God. That would you own so hard. There? The only thing is, since it's smaller, they'll have to make it even grosser. So more people will have to shove it in their mouth for YouTube <laughs> and hate it more. <laughs> okay, good. They're on different zones this time. Well, yeah, because they're using walk on technology. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Knuckles is getting busy. <laughs> He's really into it. <laughs> Knuckles never gets busy, let's be real here. I think he knows this game very well. No, he fucking doesn't. This was like just shown off right now. So how much money do you think they spent on this compared to how much advertising it actually generated on MTV? God, I don't know. Alcatraz probably paid for the whole thing. <laughs> Alcatraz the prison itself. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck else would you be in Alcatraz? <laughs> We need more tourists. What what do kids like? They like video games. Um, go get put something on here. Yeah, I don't know. No, if there's two things I know, if there's two things I know kids like, it's video games and jail. <laughs> Let's get it together. This is the fucking saddest way to play Sonic. This is the yeah, like, like all the people in the crowd like watching. Totally they can't even fucking see the screen from that far away. No, I mean, they're all just hired to fill it out. Is that Larry Davis in the background? Yeah, 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 the guy with the um, thinning hair. Looks like him. The, the Larry Davis guy. 
I swear we saw this. Before. They skipped five and three. They skipped every odd number. Congratulations, Chris Tang. We'll now name a drink after you. It's picking the glass. What did he win? Twenty-five thousand dollars. That's a good chunk of change, especially for a talking. Yeah. He does actually have to carry it out though, <laughs> and it is all of those bags. He has to swim it back and, and forth. And he still has nine months to work off in Alcatraz. <laughs> no, really though, you are actually going to jail. That ended so yep. abruptly. Well, you can tell they had nothing. Oh they had God. nothing to show. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck organized this? Like, was it actually Alcatraz that was like, "Yo, we need to get some stuff going"? Was How it Sega who was like, "Yeah, jail"? How many fucking frames of footage of the actual goddamn game were there? I think it was like I, twenty total. I, I want to say like less than forty percent of the footage had the game on screen. Like, it was bad. It was dire. It was real bad. Like, were they afraid of showing too much? What was... I'm baffled. Who wanted this? Who asked for this? Who wanted... I don't know. What? On, on the topic of not, not showing shit, I think it was like, back in the day, it was like, yeah, don't put video games on TV. People aren't going to watch that. Make sure, make sure you have the, the personalities. I think they spent most of the uh, budget it, on licensing cool. all the songs they were using. <laughs> God, probably? Yeah, I mean, maybe MTV was just able to, to take care of that shit. Yo, this was, uh, not a match made in heaven. <laughs> I do hope that for Sonic Forces we see a similar uh, ad campaign. I think the time is right to bring back uh, Sonic and Alcatraz. Yep. Um, I don't think it'll ever get more appropriate. My OC uh, will never go to jail. Incorrect. My OC would no, never do will. a crime. I will, yeah. <laughs> you, one day you will. We'll all be in jail one day. Us for our OCs will have to pay off their crimes in Alcatraz. Sure. Look forward to our podcast on Sonic Forces, because that's going to be something. 